Hello everyone, am I audible? Uh, can someone please respond? Am I audible? Cool. Uh, so hello, greetings from the Office of Career Services. Welcome to the second workshop in the internship series we're conducting. Uh, today we'll be covering uh, the companies which come for core uh, hiring. So I am Parth. Uh, I'm a CTM at OCS and I'd like to welcome you all to this session. Uh, today we have with us four panelists. Uh, firstly, it's Arun sir from the mechanical department who is currently interning at ITC. We have Vidhi ma'am from the chemical department who is interning at Unilever. Chaitanya sir from the applied mechanics department who is interning at Wipro. And Sanskar sir from the chemical department who is interning at Piramal. They had gone through the same process as we will soon and back then intern in their third year. They will each be taking a session of 10 minutes and guiding us through their experience and journey. And after that, in the end, we'll have a Q&A session. Feel free to drop your questions in the chat or the Q&A box. Uh, without further delay, I'd like to call up our first panelist, Arun sir. A reminder, he's from the mechanical department and is currently interning at ITC. Over to you, Arun sir. Hi. I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are. So hi everyone. Uh, just a clarification. My, my department is mechanics engineering and my branch is production and industrial engineering. And currently I am interning at ITC. So I have prepared a short presentation for you all to my experience. Um share screen now. Please uh, screen It's not. It's probably loading. Let's give it some time. Okay. Can you try resharing? Oh. Is it just not visible for me? Can others see it? Is it visible now? Mm, it's not. Uh, try sending the presentation to me on WhatsApp. I'll present it for you. If that works. OK, OK.
um tell we sort these issues out uh, vidhi ma'am would you like to speak first sure 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 i can take this up uh, for now um so uh, i'll start with cv building number 1 uh so uh, uh sabse pehle ye ki uh, unilever ke do roles hote hain this uh, r&d this is only for chemical aur ek hai supply chain to so, supply chain kafi uh, sare alag departments ke liye bhi khuli uh, khuli rehti hai to so, i mean i uh, one of uh, one of the student uh, is with me who is from chemical and electrical ke bhi kuch log hain yahan par to so, uh, i think it's for all the branches kuch hi hain jo jinke liye nahi hai इसके अलावा जो सबसे पहला लोगों को आता है मेरे मैं मुझे भी था कि यार मेरा सीजीपी कम है मेरा भी कोई बहुत ज्यादा नहीं एट के ऊपर नहीं है मेरा सीजीपी बट ऐसा नहीं ऐसा मत सोचना कि यार अगर मेरा सीजीपी कम है सेवन पॉइंट टू है सेवन पॉइंट थ्री है तो नहीं होगा जस्ट ट्रस्ट योर सेल्फ अगर तुमने अभी तक कॉलेज में आकर अपने आप के पे इम्प्रूवमेंट पे काम किया है तो यू कै यू विल गेट अ गुड इंटर्नशिप डेफिनेटली ठीक है Uh, उसके पह, मतलब पहले तो मैं कुछ चीजें बोलूंगी कि टेक थिंग सीरियसली ये मत सोचना कि यार uh, मतलब ठीक है हो जाएगा कर लेंगे वर्क हार्ड और अगर इफ यू वर्क हार्ड देन डेफिनेटली अगर आप सीरियसली लोगे उसके लिए आप कॉन्शियस हो और कीप चेकिंग ओसीएस एवरी टाइम ठीक है ओसीएस को बहुत अच्छे से चेक करते रहना सब लोग तो ये मेरी सबसे पहले ये है क्योंकि मैंने देखा है काफी अच्छे लोग भी थे मेरे साथ इनका अच्छा सी जी पी ए वगैरह पर उन्होंने कभी सीरियसली नहीं लिया या फिर अंडर अंडरमाइन किया कि यार ऐसी कंपनी है अच्छी नहीं है ये है वो है पर जब फिर जब स्टार्ट होती है एक्चुअल प्रोसेस तो रियलाइज होता है कि नहीं यार हमें तब फोकस करना चाहिए था फिर सी बिल्डिंग से स्टार्ट करते हैं विच इज़ अ फर्स्ट प्रोसेस तो अगेन सीरियसली सी वी बिल्डिंग पे ध्यान देना टाइम देना सी वी बिल्डिंग को बहुत ज़्यादा एटलीस्ट वन वीक तो देना सीरियसली बनाना क्योंकि जब तुम फर्स्ट टाइम बनाओगे तो तुम बहुत गड़बड़ करोगे बहुत लंबे लंबे सेंटेंसेस लिखोगे उसमें वो क्रिस्प नहीं होंगे बहुत सारी वाइट स्पेसेस होंगी उसमें ठीक है तो बहुत तुम मिस्टेक्स करोगे उससे तुम्हें मतलब मेरे ख्याल से तो फिफ्टी टाइम्स मिनिमम आइटरेट करना पड़ेगा ये नहीं है ये नहीं है यहाँ फुल स्टॉप है यहाँ कॉमा है यहाँ सेमी कोलन है ऑल दैट ठीक है तो बहुत सीरियसली बनाना सीनियर्स से रिव्यू करवाते रहना क्योंकि उन्हें पता है तो वो देखेंगे किसी से भी करवा सकते हो तो वो देखेंगे तो तुम्हें और आइडिया लगेगा और एक सीवी डेक पहुंच गई होगी शायद तुम सबके पास या पहुंच जाएगी कहीं ना कहीं से व्हाट्सएप पे अगर तुम मांगोगे तो अपने सीनियर्स से तो उसमें देखना लोगों ने कैसे सीवीज बनाई है और अच्छे से आइडिया लेना कि सीवी बनाने बनाना कैसे है ठीक है और बहुत टाइम देना सी बिल्डिंग को से ये मत सोचना कि यार सी तो इतना कौन पड़ेगा कोई ध्यान नहीं देता माइन्यूट डिटेल्स पे भी ध्यान जाता है तो उसे बिल्कुल ये मत सोचना कि यार नहीं करते इसके अलावा सबसे पहले तो सीजीपीए वाला सेक्शन आता है फिर उसको लास्टिक एबिलिटीज वाला सेक्शन आता है शायद तो उसमें तुम्हारा तुमने आज तक जो भी आ, मतलब तुम्हारे अचीवमेंट्स रहे हो लाइक कोई ओलम्पियाड कोई स्कॉलरशिप वहाँ सब कुछ मेंशन करना और एक बात ध्यान रखना कि सी बिल्डिंग में ना नंबर्स पे मतलब तुमने उसमें क्या अचीव किया नंबर्स पे कि ओवर अमंग द पॉइंट पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट पीपल और वन परसेंट पीपल इन द स्टेट इन हियर सिटिंग इन द एग्जाम एंड ऑल दैट ठीक है वहाँ वो सब मैंशन करना उसके बाद इंटर्नशिप्स तो यार ऑल्सो किसी भी सेक्शन को ये मत सोचना कि यार ये शायद इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं होगा ये कोई नहीं देखेगा सारे सेक्शन इंपॉर्टेंट है तुम्हें नहीं पता कि इंटरव्यू या देखने वाला किस चीज को ढूंढा और किस पे फोकस करे तो तुमने अभी तक जो भी सीखा है वो सब इंटर्नशिप्स में लिखना जो भी इंटर्नशिप किया है उसमें क्या सीखा है और सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज कि उसमें लिखना तुमने एट दी एंड क्या अचीव किया उसमें जैसे अगर कोई बिजनेस इंटर्न है इंटर्नशिप है तो फिफ्टी परसेंट इंक्रीज इन सेल्स ठीक है या फिर मतलब वो कुछ भी हो सकता है कि मार्केटिंग में इतना मतलब मेरा चर्न रेट था या फिर इतना प्रोडक्टिविटी बढ़ाई मैंने ये सब कुछ उसमें मेंशन करना परसेंटेजेस सबसे पहले तुम्हारा काम क्या था और तुमने उसमें क्या हेल्प किया है तो क्योंकि यहाँ पे जब मैंने देखा है कि काफी जो दूसरे आई से लोग हैं उनको उनको काफी सारे बिजनेस प्रोजेक्ट्स मिले और वो उनकी सी के बेसिस पे थे तो ये एक हो सकता है और देखो उनके पास ना कुछ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट्स रहते हैं जिससे वो जिसपे वो एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि हम उन पर वर्क करें तो हमें नहीं पता लिटरली वो कुछ भी हो सकता है बिजनेस हो सकता है कोर हो सकता है तो सब पे सारे पॉइंट्स अच्छे से लिखना ठीक है उसके बाद इंटर्नशिप के बाद आता है हमारा प्रोजेक्ट वाला सेक्शन 
तो प्रोजेक्ट्स भी तुमने अगर कोई टर्म पेपर भी बनाया हो ना और अगर तुम्हें 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 लगता है वो रेलेवेंट है तो डाल देना मैंने मेरे एक टर्म पेपर डाला था जिसमें शायद मैंने इतना नहीं पढ़ा था पर मेरे इंटरव्यू में आधे घंटे उसी के ऊपर क्वेश्चन थे ठीक है तो डाल देना और हाँ ये भी होगा तुम्हारे पास तुम्हें ये लगेगा यार ये प्रोजेक्ट की मुझे बहुत डिटेल्स नहीं पता ये नहीं पता वो नहीं पता होता है सबके साथ होता है पर सीख लेना ठीक है और डा, डालो और बाद में सीखना भी उसे कि हाँ ठीक है इसमें ये था मैंने इसमें ये सीखा था इसके ये आ, डिटेल्स हैं वो सब तुम्हें पता होना चाहिए और जितने प्रोजेक्ट्स डाल सकते हो कोर में तो एटलीस्ट जितने प्रोजेक्ट डाल सकते हो डाल देना कोर्स कोर्स प्रोजेक्ट टर्म पेपर वगैरह वगैरह जो भी तुम्हें लगे सब डाल देना उसमें और अगर और अगर तुम्हारे पास ज्यादा प्रोजेक्ट और तुम्हें चूज करना है तो कोर वाले जो है उन पर फोकस करना ठीक है और उसके बाद आता है अपना टेक्निकल स्किल वाला सेक्शन तो टेक्निकल स्किल्स भी में भी सेम है तुमने जो भी सीखा अगर तुम्हें तुमने ट्वेल्थ क्लास में भी अगर कुछ किया है सीखा है तो उसको डाल देना ठीक है बी कॉन्फिडेंट कि हाँ मैं बात मतलब अभी सीवी में डाल देता बट आई लर्न इट मैंने पहले सीखा था अब मैं फिर से सीख लूंगा मैं ये नहीं कह रही फॉल्स डाल देना कि भाई मुझे ये आता है ये नहीं आता वगैरह मतलब ये कुछ नहीं भी आता तो भी डाल दिया तुमने ऐसा मत करना लेकिन अगर तुमने पहले सीखा और अभी तुम उसमें उतने अच्छे नहीं हो तो तुम डाल देना ठीक है उसके बाद आता है अपना पी वाला सेक्शन तो उसे तो तुम लोग कर ही लोगे उसमें सारे पी तो सब सबसे अच्छे से लिखते हैं ये 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 काम किया है ठीक है वो तो तुम खुद ही एलेबोरेट करोगे उसके बाद ई वाला पोर्शन आता है तो यार ई वाले पोर्शन में जनरली जो मुझे बताया गया था कि ऐसे लाइन्स मतलब एक लाइन में एक लिखते हैं कोई भी सेंटेंस ठीक है पर मैंने क्या किया था कि मेरे ई बहुत ज्यादा थे और मुझे मैं अपनी आईटी वाली जो सी थी उसमें डाल नहीं पा रही थी तो मैंने दो कॉलम्स में डाले थे पहले कॉलम में डाले मतलब ऐसे दो कॉलम्स में डिवाइडेड था मेरा वो वाला सेक्शन एक में एक में शायद पांच थे एक में पांच थे ऐसे और ई भी जितने लिख सकते हो ना तुम लोग जो भी तुमने अभी तक अचीव किया पूरे एक एक याद कर लेना क्या कंपटीशन कौन से फर्स्ट ईयर में क्या जीता था जो भी है कौन से क्लब का पार्ट हो कहाँ क्या कंट्रीब्यूट किया सारे याद कर लेना लिख लेना सारी ई सी अच्छे से उसमें और आ, मतलब लोग हो सकते हैं कहते हो कि यार एक ही लाइन में लिखना चाहिए पर मैंने दो कॉलम में लिखा था एंड इट वर्क फॉर मी मुझे नहीं लगता उसमें कोई इशू था किसी को तो ये क्योंकि मैं चाह रही थी कि मतलब होगा तुम्हारे साथ ही बहुत सारी चीजें होंगी तुम सब नहीं लिख पाओगे एक पेज की सीवी में तो और हाँ रिमेम्बर एक पेज की ही सीवी होनी चाहिए तो उसमें तुम्हें चूज करना पड़ेगा कट करना पड़ेगा तो देख लेना उस हिसाब से पर हाँ जितना मैक्सिम कोशिश करना जितना लिख सकते हो और एकदम क्रिस्प रखने की कोशिश करना ठीक है सीवी एकदम क्रिस्प होनी चाहिए ऐसे नहीं कि तुम पूरा एलेबोरेट कर रहे हो कि आ, मैंने ये किया था फिर ऐसा किया फिर उससे ये हुआ एक लाइन होनी चाहिए पर एकदम क्रिस्प होनी चाहिए ठीक है अभी मुझे याद नहीं आ रहा पर हाँ कुछ अच्छे वर्ड अच्छे सेंटेंसेस होते हैं अब तो चैट जी भी है तो मैं एकदम अच्छे वर्ड अच्छे उसमें लिख कर दे देगा यूज करना उससे ठीक है और बहुत एकदम क्रिस्प अच्छी सी बनाना क्योंकि और छोटी छोटी डिटेल्स पे ध्यान देना ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि तुम्हें एक वर्ड के लिए बेटर वर्ड मिल जाए जो ज्यादा अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन करो तो वो यूज करना पर वो सारी डिटेल्स पे भी ध्यान देना ये मत सोचना कि सीवी तो यार ऐसी है कौन कोई नहीं देखता इतना तो कौन पढ़ेगा सब पढ़ता है ठीक है मैंने तो कितनी बार कॉमा लग गया तो यहाँ फुल स्टॉप आ गया तो यहाँ एक एस ज्यादा हो गया यहाँ फर्स्ट फिर यहाँ तो सब चेक करना ठीक है तो इसमें फिर सीवी uh, बिल्डिंग के बाद आता है एक फॉर्म भरने का फर्स्ट प्रोसेस होता है इनका जब सीवी शॉर्टलिस्ट हो जाती है तो उसमें अगेन uh, उसको सीरियसली लेना और उसमें बहुत पेशेंस लगेगा उसमें बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस होते हैं ठीक है थीके? तो बहुत पेशेंटली उन, और उनके आंसर सेव करना हो तो मैं आगे भी इंटरव्यूज uh, में काम आएंगे लोग जब तुमसे पूछेंगे कि अबाउट योर गोल्स एंड एवरी शॉर्ट टर्म गोल लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव वॉट इज द बेस्ट मोमेंट इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेस वगैरह वगैरह तो उसमें बहुत टाइम इन्वेस्ट करना अपने लिए बहुत इलेबोरेट मैं तो कह रही हूँ कुछ पॉइंट्स तो जो होते हैं अपने लिए प्रिपेयर करके रख लो एंड थिंक मतलब थारली थिंक अबाउट योर सेल्फ तुम मतलब अच्छे से कॉन्फिडेंट ऐसा नहीं फेक ना लेकिन एकदम कॉन्फिडेंट होकर सोचना अपने बारे में कि तुमने क्या अचीव किया है लाइफ में कैसे किया है मतलब मुझे याद है मैंने जो अपने यूनिवर का फॉर्म भरा था उसमें अपने लाइफ एक्सपीरियंसेस इतने अच्छे से और इतने फिलोसफिकल मैनर में लिखे थे 
कि मैंने यहाँ पे ये स्ट्रगल किया उसके बाद मैंने ये अचीव किया और वो क्वेश्चंस भी ऐसे ही होते हैं कि तुम्हारी लाइफ में सबसे बड़ी अचीवमेंट क्या थी तुमने उसे कैसे अचीव किया और तुमने उससे क्या सीखा तो बहुत फिलोसफिकल हो गए बहुत पेशेंस से और बहुत टाइम दे भरना दो दिन मैं तो कह रही हूँ जिस दिन फॉर्म आ जाए उस दिन से भरना चालू कर देना और अच्छे से सोच के भरना ठीक है उसके बाद Try to understand, मतलब तुम लिखते ही मत जाने ये समझने की कोशिश करना कि उस क्वेश्चन में वो तुमसे चाहते क्या है क्या एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं यूनिलिवर में सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है किसी भी एम्प्लॉय को लेने से पहले वो देखते हैं वो कल्चरल फिट है या नहीं तो मतलब एक बार कंपनी के बारे में भी पढ़ना तुम लोग ठीक है कि कंपनी सस्टेनेबिलिटी पे फोकस करती है क्वालिटी पे फोकस करती है इंटीग्रिटी पे फोकस करती है क्या इनिशिएटिव्स है वो सब रीड करना और समझने की कोशिश करना कि उस क्वेश्चन से तुमसे क्या एक्सपेक्ट कर रहा है एंड ट्राई टू बी वेरी क्रिएटिव विथ वाइल फिलिंग द फॉर्म उसके बाद आते हैं केस स्टडी का राउंड होता है जब जो फॉर्म शॉर्ट लिस्ट होता है उसके बाद एक केस स्टडी होती है तो केस स्टडी में ऐसा होता है मतलब वो ऑनलाइन इंटरव्यू केस स्टडी भी नहीं बोलेंगे ऑनलाइन इंटरव्यू होता है जो ऑटोमेटेड होता है तो एक उनका कोई पोर्टल है उसकी लिंक आएगी तुम्हारे पास तुम उसे सिलेक्ट करोगे तो 20 मिनट्स के लिए एक वीडियो ऑन हो जाएगा तुम्हारा कैमरा ऑन हो जाएगा तुम्हें ए, ए, एक क्वेश्चन तुम्हारे सामने तीन क्वेश्चन एक एक करके आएंगे पहले जो जो पहला क्वेश्चन आएगा उसको मतलब सारे क्वेश्चन को रीड करने के लिए एक या दो मिनट शायद देते हैं और तीन मिनट या पाँच मिनट आंसर करने के लिए इस इस टाइप से रहता है वो तो तुम्हारे सामने क्वेश्चन डिस्प्ले हो जाएगा और तुम्हारा आंसर अपने आप रिकॉर्ड होना चालू हो जाएगा तीन मिनट बाद वो शायद दो मिनट तुम्हें सोचने के लिए भी देते हैं तो उसमें ये है कि यार तुम लोग प्रैक्टिस के लिए केस स्टडीज पढ़ सकते हो बिजनेस केस स्टडीज के बारे में एवेल्यूएट कर सकते हो कि उनके में क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम आ सकती हैं जैसे मेरे में आया था कि उनके डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में जो ट्रक डिलीवर करते हैं वो खराब हो जाते हैं आई मीन उनका एक्सीडेंट हो जाता है तो बहुत नुकसान होता है इस टाइप का कोई क्वेश्चन था तो आ, सोच के देखना बिजनेस उनके मतलब तुम बिजनेस स्टडी केस स्टडीज पढ़ोगे तो तुम्हें समझ में आएगा हाँ उनके में ये प्रॉब्लम्स आ सकती हैं तो उसके बारे में थोड़ा रीड करना पर ऐसा नहीं है कि तुम वही वही करते रहो क्योंकि जरूरी नहीं है तुम्हें भी कोई आइडिया नहीं है वो क्या पूछने वाले हैं ठीक है तो ट्राई करना एक अप्रोच बना लेना कि कैसे इस टाइप के क्वेश्चन को हमें आ, मतलब टैकल करना है कैसे अगर कैमरा ऑन हो जाए तो तुम्हें कुछ बोलना है ब्लैंक बस मत रहना उस टाइम ठीक है कुछ ना कुछ पूरे समय बोलते रहना कि हम ऐसा कर सकते हैं ऐसा सोच सकते हैं इवन इफ यू आर थिंकिंग समथिंग इन योर माइंड तो उसे बोल बोल के एक्सप्लेन uh, करो कि ताकि उन्हें अप्रोच पता चले अच्छा ये ऐसे सोच रहा है कई बार होता है कि हम सोच से ही डायरेक्शन में रहे होते हैं पर बोलते नहीं है तो शांत मत रहना बस बोलते रहना और एकदम कॉन्फिडेंटली बोलना ठीक है और uh, इसके अलावा फिर नेक्स्ट राउंड इंटरव्यू का रहता है तो जिनके ये वाला राउंड क्लियर होता है उनका फिर इंटरव्यू की शॉर्टलिस्ट आती है इंटरव्यू के लिए अपने जो भी तुम्हारा सब्जेक्ट जो भी तुम्हारा डिपार्टमेंट है उसका एक टॉपिक अच्छे से प्रिपेयर कर लेना मेरे से उनने पूछा था कि तुम्हारा फेवरेट टॉपिक क्या है तो तुम्हें एक टॉपिक तो ऐसा होना चाहिए जो तुम्हें अच्छे से आता और अगर तुम्हें आता होगा ना वो टॉपिक तो अगर वो कहीं और की कोई बात भी कर रहे होंगे तो तुम वहाँ पे बोल पाओगे ठीक है और कुछ चीजें हैं ना इंटरव्यू के पहले अपने अपने उसमें लेकर जाना दिमाग में कि हाँ मैं इनके बारे में बोलना चाहता हूँ और कहीं ना कहीं ट्राई करना उन चीजों को यूज करने का ताकि उससे पता चले कि हाँ शायद जो मैं पूछ रहा हूँ ये ऐसे नहीं पता पर इसको नॉलेज तो है ठीक है तुम आ, मेरे केस में बहुत काम किया था मैंने मैं चाहती थी कि मेरे बारे में कुछ जो अच्छी चीज जो मैंने सीखा है मैं उसे बता पाऊँ तो जो उनने क्वेश्चन पूछे शायद उससे नहीं बता पाई तो मैंने कोई ना कोई अलग तरीका ढूंढ लिया उसे बताने का इंटरव्यू के टाइम ठीक है और तो और के लिए एक टॉपिक जो है उसे अच्छे से प्रिपेयर कर लेना अच्छे से मतलब बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऐसा नहीं कि तुम लोग ने ऐसे बिल्कुल पीएचडी करनी है जो तुमने थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ा है हमने कॉलेज में भी कोई बहुत ज्यादा नहीं थोड़ा बेसिक बेसिक ही पढ़ा है सारे टॉपिक्स को तो उसे प्रिपेयर कर लेना एक टॉपिक को अच्छे से बाकी टॉपिक्स में भी अपने बेसिक्स क्लियर रखने की कोशिश करना स्पेशली तुम्हारी सी से ही वो क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे मोस्ट मतलब सबसे ज्यादा चांसेस ये है मेरे से तो एक ही उनने एक प्रोजेक्ट उठा लेते उसे बहुत देर तक क्वेश्चंस पूछे थे तो अपने जो भी तुम सी पे मेंशन करो उसके बारे में समझ के जाना मैंने एक रात पहले सब समझ लिया था अच्छा ये टॉपिक में मैंने ये किया था इसमें क्या होता है ये टर्म पेपर था मैंने इसमें क्या सीखा था इसका क्या कंक्लूजन था कैसे किया था कई बार ये भी होता है हमने टर्म पेपर में कुछ किया नहीं होता है और लिख देते हैं हम लोग ठीक है तो उसे सम, करके जाना वो कि अच्छा ये कैसे किया था किसी ने किया है तो कैसे किया है ठीक है वो सारी
तो उससे और एंड में मेरे साथ जो सबसे ज्यादा काम किया था वो ये था कि मेरे इंटरव्यू ओवर होने के बाद उन्होंने मुझसे बोला था कि डू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस फॉर मी और मैंने उनसे ऐसे क्वेश्चंस पूछे थे कि जिससे ये पता चले कि हाँ आई रेड अबाउट द कंपनी मैं कंपनी के बारे में जानती हूँ मैं उससे जुड़ना चाहती हूँ और कुछ ऐसे पॉइंट्स जो मैं अपने बारे में या अपनी नॉलेज से बताना चाहती थी तो मैंने कहीं ना कहीं क्वेश्चन उनसे पूछा Uh, कि ये कैसे होता है और ताकि मैं अपना जो मुझे पता है वो उससे डिस्कस कर पाऊँ उसी बहाने ठीक है तो एक ये चीज थी और अगर तुम uh, कोई चीज वो तुमसे पूछे तो घबराना मत अगर याद करने की कोशिश करे तो बोल देना गिव मी अ मिनट टू रिकॉल और अगर नहीं कर सकते हो तो बोल देना आई एम अनेबल टू रिकॉल दिस ठीक है पर ट्राई करना कि तुम uh, सोचने की कोशिश करो अगर तुम्हें रेलिवेंट है वो टॉपिक तुम्हारे से तो ठीक है और uh, अगर uh, हाँ अगर तुम कुछ सोच रहे हो तो तुम उन्हें अप्रोच बताने की कोशिश करना ठीक है हो सकता है तुम्हें एग्जैक्ट आंसर ना पता हो पर बताना कि मैं ऐसे ऐसे सोच रहा हूँ तुम्हें लग सकता है तुम बहुत स्टूपेड साउंड कर रहे हो सिली साउंड कर रहे हो बट बोल देना ठीक है मतलब वो भी जानते हैं तुम्हें बहुत ज्यादा कुछ नहीं आता होगा पर जो भी आता है वहां पे बोल देना जो भी तुम्हारे दिमाग में चल रहा है जो भी तुम्हारी थॉट प्रोसेस है और ये भी हो सकता है कि अगर तुम कुछ एक्सप्लेन कर रहे हो तो हिंदी में बोलने की जरूरत पड़े बोल देना कॉन्फिडेंट रहना ठीक है मतलब ऐसा नहीं बोल रही कि इंटरव्यू से हिंदी में ही बात करना पर अगर कहीं तुम्हें लग रहा है कि तुम्हें हिंदी यूज करनी ही पड़ेगी टू एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ टू टू एक्सप्रेस योर आंसर तुम क्या एक्सप्लेन करना चाहते हो तो यूज कर लेना मैंने भी किया था कि मैं मुझे कुछ तो था कि मैं उन्हें एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पा रही थी तो मैंने हिंदी में बोलना स्टार्ट कर दिया था मतलब uh, तो कुछ सेंटेंसेस उन्हें एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए एंड ही वॉज ओके विद इट तो बस यही था मेरा प्रोसेस बस मेरा एंड में यही रहेगा कॉन्फिडेंट रहना तुम्हें ये मत सोचना कि यार मेरा मैं मेरी तो या तो लगेगी नहीं दो दो टाइप के लोग होते हैं या तो मेरी बिल्कुल ही नहीं लगेगी मैं क्या करूं कुछ नहीं होगा अगर तुम्हारी सी पे कम है तुम्हारे पास ज्यादा लिखने को नहीं है पर तुम सीरियस होना तो तुम्हारी लग जाएगी और तुम कितने ही अच्छे हो पर तुम सीरियस नहीं होना तो तुम्हें बहुत प्रॉब्लम होगी आगे चल के तो ये बात का ध्यान रखना कॉन्फिडेंट रहना और मेहनत करते रहना बाकी तो बस मैं को इतनी बोलना था थैंक्स विद यू मैम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द फंड डे दे वर वेरी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव नाउ आई विल ट्राई टू प्रेजेंट फॉर अरुण सर is the presentation visible yes to me it is yeah then cool let's continue over to you arun sir so hi everyone i am not able to switch on my camera because the internet connection is not so good here so let's start with the presentation uh, next slide please second one okay so uh, first of all uh, As as was the case for me last year, so internship में क्या होता है इसका कुछ idea नहीं था तो उस वजह से uh, I thought कि ये एक slide काफ़ी important है कि पता हो कि तुम exactly जा किस ले रहे हो तो about core internships, तो work क्या होगा तुम्हारा काम तो to sum it up in in the brief in the most brief sentence possible it is this कि your project would be something around a technical problem does not have to be in your department or branch. but it uh, may be in the same branch as you then uh, it has to be economically sound so you cannot go around innovating things that are not feasible so mainly companies expect from you that you give them a solution that they can actually deploy in real life ki jisse unko loss na ho profit hi ho so that will be something your project uh, in brief the locations for core companies usually are anywhere जो तुम सोच सकते हो वहाँ पे भी हो सकती हैं और जो नहीं भी सोच सकते हो उधर भी हो सकती हैं एज इज़ द केस विद मी राइट नाउ आई मीन ए नॉट दैट टीयर वन सिटी इट्स अ टीयर टू सिटी इन आंध्र प्रदेश सो इवन माय इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इज अ पुअर इज अ लिटिल बिट पुअर राइट नाउ बट द फैसिलिटीज दैट दे हैव हेयर दे आर टॉप नॉच दे आर वर्ल्ड क्लास एंड यू विल ऑल्सो हैव टू गो टू प्लांट्स दैट आर लोकेटेड इन ईवन मोर रिमोट लोकेशन सो लाइक यू मैनी ऑफ यू माइट नॉट हैव हर्ड ऑफ गुन टूर बट द फैक्ट्रीज आर even more remote somewhere on the outskirts so uh, now the culture in core companies is something like uh, in research people say that there is very little pressure on you from above you won't have to report to someone 
and in corporate you have to report to multiple layers of people so in core companies especially for engineers and their roles the culture is somewhere in between so you don't have to report to a lot of people but it's not the case that you can go around you know waiting whatever you want so it's somewhere in the middle so some people prefer this kind of an environment and as for the last part uh, comes the prospects so uh, people have this assumption that core company mein kaise kam milte hain but i would want you all to research on that a little bit and uh, sirf do teen logo se puch kar nahi in fact apne sirf senior se bhi nahi puch ke baki jo log kuch saal se kaam kar rahe hain reach out to them on linkedin and find out a little bit more about what is ttc the cost to the company what is your going to be your in hand and what those people are doing two years after joining such companies that is also very important so agar internship sirf stipend dekh ke le rahe ho to wo samajhdari nahi hai kyunki most people don't even stay in their job for very long just after iit so you should look more long term in terms of your career prospects and again uh, if you don't know what you want to do then this is always a great option because you will be able to apply your uh, core knowledge over your like the subjects that you are studying so your value will also be proportionate to that so char sal engineering ko lagaye hain to uska kuch fayda hoga and this graph on the right is nothing but this represents if some of you know econ- economics a little bit so this represents the risk aversion so in brief it is something like ki agar kuch guaranteed mil raha hoga to wo tum zyada chahoge कम्पेयर टू कुछ रिस्क के साथ वही सेम अगर प्रॉबिलिटी होगी उसकी तो इन कोवर इट इज मोस्टली अज्यूम दैट योर रोल इन द कंपनी इज गारंटीड प्रिटी मच लाइक दे नीड यू मोर देन मैनी अदर रोल्स सो फॉर दैट रीजन यू हैव सम रिस्पेक्ट देर सो देर इज मोर स्टेबिलिटी कम्पेयर टू अदर थिंग्स मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दीज आर समर दंपनीज दैट आई नो अबाउट that come to IIT Delhi for core internships especially for mechanical and chemical engineering department so as i mentioned again ki if you don't know what you want to do then this is a great thing to explore because if you like it you can anyway continue it will be great if you don't then you can switching is not that difficult and <clears throat> so these are some of the companies do not forget to apply for all of them if you're interested in core and that's all don't forget to apply at least because uh, the deadlines on the portal are pretty strict i remember last year the deadlines used to be 11:59 and not 12 so even if you were late by a minute though you should not apply that late but even if you are late by a minute then you cannot do anything so apply the moment that they become available next slide please so as for my experience before applying it was all about knowing how this process goes so i got in touch with a lot of my seniors to know what is the process like how to make a cv i got my cv reviewed by at least five to seven people and during the process the word that i've used here is pretty more on the positive side i've mentioned thrill but it is quite a roller coaster ride for everyone uh, apply at the time jab companies aati hain to kafi companies mein hum shortlist nahi hote bura bhi lagta hai but then fir jo ek do mein shortlist hote hain unke uh, recruitment rounds se jab go through karte hain sabke liye naya experience hota hai so that's why there is also thrill in it and finally now that i am <coughs> doing my project here so it is a lot about depth not only about my engineering that i am pursuing so how things work in the real world but also into co- big corporations like these ki koi bhi cheez shuru se end tak yahan pe kaise hoti hai ya fir business kaise chalta hai so this has been my experience uh, by the way my project is in automation of a manufacturing process in a food plant and the location is in andhra pradesh mostly it is seafood so the project in itself is very interesting and i believe i am able to apply a lot of my core knowledge here and on top of that i also have to learn some business terms to justify all the things that i'll be suggesting in my project uh, on to the next slide now as for the skills that you will require for this so <clears throat> first thing is that technical skills are definitely required so in in that sense if you do not remember your courses jo tumne abhi tak kiye hain तो कोई प्रॉब्लम वाली बात नहीं है बस तुमने उस टाइम अच्छे से अगर किए थे और अब सिर्फ उनके बेसिक्स रिवाइज कर लोगे तो काम चलेगा लेकिन अगर टेक्निकल स्किल्स में बिल्कुल इंटरेस्ट ही नहीं है तो फिर इट वॉन्ट बी अ गुड एक्सपीरियंस फॉर यू सी जी पी अगेन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ दिस शॉर्ट लिस्ट आई वुड से सेवन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस इज द क्राइटेरिया फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ दिस कंपनीज बट अगेन सी जी पी इज नॉट सफिशेंट यू हैव टू जस्टिफाई योर सेल्फ इन द इंटरव्यूज दैट द सी जी पी दैट यू ब्रॉट इज नॉट जस्ट बिकॉज 
you were great at studying at the last moment and you also know your concepts well again communication skills are important not just spoken but also written and whatever way you can express yourself including presentations so like i i have heard this a lot from my seniors from iit itself that if you are great at your research but you are not able to present it well then the chances of a ppo are definitely lower so if you don't know a ppo means a pre placement offer after your internship you get to join the same company and as for numbers what i mean is you should be good with numbers in the sense that <clears throat> all the people in your company since you are from, you're going to be from iit they will be looking at you at all times uh, one of my experiences here was that i was at a, a client meeting so all the other people were buyers and the moment that my college name came up uh, all eyes were on me they were uh, after the sessions they were asking questions from me from uh, various aspects mostly about what college life is like but people look after people look at you all the times they expect you to be witty so you should be good with numbers and finally there is one thing that people are not so sure about in core which is coding so if in terms of software development it is not very relevant here but data analysis is not the same thing as coding and data analysis is something that uh, nowadays a lot of core companies especially those that have uh, manufacturing plants are expecting out of you there is a term which is being tossed around a lot known as industry 4.0 so in that they want to integrate a lot of computers into machinery and for that reason a lot of the projects right now maybe from starting from last year they have been a lot around tech and digital first so for that reason if you have something around machine learning and data analytics in your cv it is a good thing although software development will not help help that much. Uh, next slide please so this is usually the timeline for applying for core companies <clears throat> so the first part is just there because but uh, now you cannot do anything about it <clears throat> so having a good cgpa is important maybe you can keep that in mind for the placements also uh, the more more important part right now would be cv making so as it mentions here ki cv aise banao ki padhne wale char recruiter resign hi kar de so what i mean by that is you should not be boasting in your cv the things that you don't know बट जितना भी तुमको आता है अब तुम्हारे पास कुछ एक लिमिटेड सेट ऑफ स्किल्स अचीवमेंट्स हैं उसको तुम जितना अच्छे से देख सकते हो उतना फायदा होगा कि सीवी ऐसा होना चाहिए कि तुम खुद पढ़ के अपने आप से इम्प्रेस हो जाओ सो लाइक द रूल दैट आई फॉलोड आफ्टर अ लॉट ऑफ एडवाइस फ्रॉम माई सीनियर्स वॉज दैट डू नॉट यूज अ सिंगल वर्ब ट्वाइस सो वी हैव दिस हैबिट ऑफ राइटिंग कंडक्टेड दिस अचीव दिस एंड देन फॉर दिस नेक्स्ट अचीवमेंट वी आर अगेन राइटिंग अचीव दिस और कंडक्ट दिस सेशन और like found out this result so you have to use different verbs that helps a lot and certain verbs would be important to highlight something more importantly and a skill lies in also making your projects inclined towards what's important for core companies so one one thing which is very important for core companies is that you can increase efficiency somehow so be it the efficiency of some process or some machinery something like that so if your if your projects revolve around something that are uh, that you can portray as efficiency you should definitely mention words like those and if you can mention numbers also that by how much percent you were able to increase the efficiency of certain things that will be helpful then as for tests mostly a lot of companies ask aptitude questions for that you do not need any uh, extra preparation you can look at some past year papers or some mental ability from ntsc or some cat quant level questions that works and that to not even much you can do for 2 hours before the test is there Uh, some core subjects you will have to revise and it helps if you know what the company usually does so for that uh, you can prepare specifically so for example jsw is a steel company so metal forming for mechanical people would be helpful and <coughs> similarly if some company is around fmcg so like fmcg and core something like wipro so uh, or maybe jaguar land rover so they will ask around mechanics as well now as for personality test there is only one tip that uh, don't give it uh, fakely so if you have were to pick a personality be consistent throughout there are about 50 questions in personality test so if you are inconsistent throughout they they might reject you on that basis uh, such was the experience for some of my friends and for custom rounds and tests it's usually maybe sometimes the custom rounds are before test so it could be something like a special form they ask about your life experiences uh, so in itc we had such a form 
they ask you some situation where you used um, your will power to achieve something and there could be group discussions in group discussions uh, you should keep in mind not to interfere others mainly and in interviews it is the only tip is to if you don't know something just tell them because uh, what they do is they pretend that they are not technical people but once you start explaining things as if they are not technical they reveal that they are the engineers themselves and they've been in the industry for 10 years and what not so if you get stuck there it will be a bad impression and as for fi- formalities do not forget some formalities that are even after you get selected so that uh, you don't miss out the opportunity finally on the last slide these are some general tips as i have also summarized before so in terms of uh, your cgpa i have noticed that a lot of these companies straight away shortlist you if you are 8 plus so being 8 plus uh, would definitely help so if you are 8 plus and you want even a backup option you should definitely apply and again you have to justify your cgpa in the interview and uh, one more thing about your cv if you uh, on page 2 people usually do not uh, care so much about the second page but you have the option to select which course to uh, show on the page 2 so make sure that if you are not good at a certain course you do not mention it on your cv because on the interview day they are holding your cv in their hand and they can pick out anything sometimes they give you the choice ki project se puchu ki course se puchu but sometimes they just pick any course and then ask questions about that course from you so if you don't mention certain courses on your cv or you mention the courses that you're good at above then that will be <coughs> to your advantage finally for test prep as i have mentioned you can look at some past year papers and for sm- spoken rounds you should keep in mind that uh, sometimes they're also observing whether you listen well or not so make sure that you listen to the person um, if they have mentioned some detail beforehand so do not forget that detail they might ask about it again <coughs> and even in group discussions do not interrupt your friends but also don't sit quiet throughout because that will also leave a bad impression that was all from my end uh, thank you guys all the best thank you so much for the insights and also for creating this very beautiful presentation it will definitely help us a lot through our process so moving on i'd like to invite the next panelist sanskar sir sanskar sir is from the chemical department and he is currently interning at piramal over to you sanskar sir thanks parth <coughs> and thanks arun uh hi everyone uh, sanskar this side and uh, hello from mumbai and i'm interning in mumbai at pramal and uh, i am working currently in operations excellence team <coughs> going forward how uh, like first i will cover like uh, how to get in core and how i choose to get in core and uh, how is the core so like uh, uh, the pramal was the day one company and uh, i have no uh, such intention to do a core intern but uh, eventually it was a day one company and applied and i did my test and uh, i cleared it so gd uh, and interviews my strong points as i have given so many interviews before as i am doing interns uh, very frequently and uh, when it comes to the gd uh, in pramal basically uh, they uh, in our uh, in our process it was online and they have given you certain situations and you have to give your answers so basically what they see is they see what is your approach and how logically you are using the things so these are the basically gd and uh, they just see how active you are and uh, how is your communication skills when it comes to the interview uh, interview uh, it was only a one round interview and uh, a senior leadership team uh, member come to take our interview from pramal there is a slts in pramal so uh, in my interview it was uh, sort of uh, 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 basically hr interview and it wasn't anything of core he hasn't asked me anything about the core basically uh, what depends is how you present yourself there because uh, 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 they want to listen your story and one and the most important thing about clearing an interview for a core company basically is their values 
because these are the core uh, traditional companies which are running from very long time and uh, they are based on their values so uh, i don't uh, i'm saying about ki core ka ya finance ka kuch bhi when you go for a company just very very well go uh, about the research uh, of that company what are the roots of the company because they just find that because they don't uh, want your knowledge or uh, anything in the core they want your values and uh, uh, they will train you but uh, uh, they first try to check that whether you are fits uh, uh, whether you are uh, a great uh, person for that role or not so the values of the company is very very important so at pramal basically they uh, they have, they, have, they have four values knowledge action care and impact so these are four values and these are pasted everywhere in their offices everywhere at their sites okay and uh, <clears throat> personally in my interview i curated my cv in a story i started with my uh, uh, j preparation and i ended up uh, uh being a secretary in student affairs council so i curated all my projects all my interns and all my pors in that story so you learn uh, you have to learn how to create a story they are not uh, uh, there to listen your bullets okay you uh, you have to engage them with your conversation and you have to converse it shouldn't be a one way thing they should have also converse and they should take interest in your story and in between your story uh, the threads basically are their values so that's how you crack a, a core interview and uh, uh, about the cg my i am a 7.5 pointer so i wasn't expected to be in pramal because i heard that uh, pramal is a cgp category of 8.5 so eventually it doesn't matter uh, uh, the cgp criteria okay and uh, what depends is uh, how well uh, your cv is curated and how well uh, your uh, how will you present yourself okay and uh, what is your story uh, every person have a story and every person has a way of presenting themselves so what they uh, look for is what they look for the their values in yourself so that's uh, uh, that's how i cracked the interview and uh, Uh, when i came to the company uh, there is a great work culture in piramal and uh, they don't have a hierarchy system as such and uh, uh, like uh, when i uh, i i was allotted a corporate office and we are 16 interns and uh, uh, 15 interns are uh, like on the sites and uh, i was in Mum- uh, i was in mumbai and there was uh, so i also i'm working here in mumbai and uh, i am working on daily management system so it's not again related to core and uh, so <clears throat> basically they allot the projects based on your cvs only so when you come into the company they just see your cv and allot a project uh, uh, what uh, your cv matches right i don't have a core project uh, in my cv and uh, i have most of pors and uh, technical things so they allotted me a project uh, uh, in regards of that so uh, that's from my side basically thank you thank you so much for the insights in sharing your process and scar sir uh, i'd like to now invite the next panelist chaitanya sir a reminder he is from the applied mechanics department and is currently interning at wipro enterprises hello good evening everyone i hope i'm audible Yes, you are, sir. Yeah. So thanks for inviting me, Parth and Devansh. So hello, everyone. I am Chetanya Mittal from the Applied Mechanics Department, and I'm based in Bangalore, uh, in the Bipro R&D Department. So uh, let me share my slides first. Uh, are they visible? They are. Sure. So anyway, let's start. Right. So uh, first of all, comes with your CV making, and I, so I think Vidhi and Arun and Sanskar have already covered a lot of it. So first of all, comes your scholastic achievements, whatever uh, you have done so far at IIT academically, be it your forex department change, your top seven merit lists, your 
see the set of one point one percent time. It could be anything. Even or some people write Sura and Sigma certifications. Uh, now that depends on you. And be sh make sure to write this uh, very exhaustively. Then again, uh, your projects, including Sura, Professor. Technical skills, basically, uh, uh, any code, uh, all the coding languages, maybe some database language, your AutoCAD. You can write anything depending on the company. Uh, depending, yeah, PORs. Now, coming to post sector, PORs, uh, people, some people think that PORs might not matter much, but uh, sometimes they do, and uh, interviewers might even pinpoint something and ask that what was that about or how did you lead that team? Something about that sort. Uh, extracurricular activities. Uh, I remember in my interview, my interviewer actually asked one of my four CCAs and was surprised to know about that. So I explained him uh, some of that stuff. So yeah, they are important even in a core company. Now, uh, coming to some common mistakes, you have to uh, keep in mind your grammar, spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. Uh, trust me, I have known many cases where people told me that uh, even a small capital error or a comma or uh, a full stop was pointed out by the interviewer. I think Vidhi has already emphasized that uh, too much. Then uh, approach at least five to six seniors and go get your CV proofread. And trust me, they tell you a lot of mistakes that you would not have thought of. Like, and it will improve your CV a lot. Uh, I personally did that myself. Then uh, again, show numbers as Arun and Vidhi said that whatever projects you have done or any PORs, tell how, what impact did it make? Let's say it was an MBA project, then uh, how much accuracy did you achieve? Let's say you hosted a session, then how, how big was the audience? Uh, let's say a thousand uh, audience or 500 people. So try to put in any kind of numbers uh, and uh, make sure they are bold in, in your CV. Right. Then again, uh, white spacing and date format consistency. One, uh, on one point we're writing June, uh, J U N, and in another line we're writing J U N E. That will again matter. So please be consistent with that. And finally, your presentation. You, you, by the way, you, you can take screenshots if you want. It might come in handy later. Uh, also, which type of English word using? Are you using S or Z letters? That also matters. Uh, that might be pointed out, right? And please uh, use a formal photograph. Uh, prefer, don't prefer uh, any informal clothing. If it is a shirt or a suit, that's better. Now, coming to the interview day, uh, personally, what all I experienced and what all I would suggest. First of all, they most likely ask you about you, what's your introduction. So in that case, uh, here, uh, here's the point where, where your interview will drive, right? Your interview will go in the direction you want it to, it to, it to go. So uh, please keep in mind that uh, your introduction should be aligning with that company. Yeah, again, uh, sorry to break out this to you, but Wipro will, uh, will have some bias based on the CG, and they are mostly shortest eight plus people. Uh, like, uh, talking about our case, three of us are at Wipro Bangalore, and two of us had 8.6 at that time, and one had eight. So uh, that, that's a point to consider. Uh, so because of that, core uh, questions are less likely to be asked directly in your interview. Because they know that someone who is A plus is more likely to be knowing all that stuff. Then uh, explain your previous intern or Sura or project and uh, the, your whatever role you get at Wipro will be chosen according to that, right? Personally, my intern in second year was in a corporate company, Shamburger, and it was again in machine learning. So even if Wipro, my role was again in machine learning. This similar was the case in other two Their role was decided before they were then some standard questions like why did you choose this branch or do you like your branch or let's say your strengths, your weaknesses, tell me your three strengths, tell me your three weaknesses, and where do you see yourself five years on the line? Let's take we can debate about these questions at least one to one to two days before the interview and make some notes and keep, keep all of that in mind. Then again, yeah, Wipro values. Uh, uh, as uh, I think as Sanskar mentioned, uh, Wipro has the same uh, values are mentioned in every office and every chamber. So you should know them. There are three to four values. Just, uh, just tell them in, in, uh, in front of the interviewer. They'll be impressed. That's one. Then uh, this is more important. Just keep smiling and maintain eye contact during the interview. Uh, the interview was online on the laptop, but in case it is offline the next year, then please follow this. Uh, coming to work culture, uh, the next thing I would like to point out that uh, 
uh, please uh, please apply to core only if you are sure that uh, like this my opinion is, is completely different from what arun said that uh, if you are sure that you want to get into an engineering company then you can, then you have to apply to Wipro because this culture is not for everyone you might sometimes find it uh, pretty mundane or like pretty repetitive or uh, like most of like for two three hours you'll be sitting straight doing nothing that also happens uh, no offense but uh, anyways like uh, if people are nice here uh, i've never seen anyone being rude to me or uh, there are no strict deadlines i can work according to my flexibility the seniors uh, the seniors are here are very sweet they listen to me and uh, try to see what i'm saying and try to see my perspective and even hr in the beginning said that you are from iit so you are you'll bring a new fresh perspective to this company to the people who are working there since 15 20 years right so that's one thing uh coming to yeah, there are here some important you might take this uh, image this is not from me by the way i bought this to previous years uh, os case workshops there are the like in section uh, like depending on which company uh, or which sector what sections are more important right so as you can see here acads calls and internships are uh, important for where which are very good you are going to and specifically for your projects and technical skills are again important So please make sure that they are valid in your team. Uh, coming to yeah, coming to action verbs as uh, uh, this again. This I got the screenshot last year. You can take a screenshot and instead of writing the same word, uh, starting word in each line like organize this, organize this, you can take a lot. Uh, you can uh, there are a lot of words on this like you executed this, you coordinated this, you guided this, you guided this, uh, this team. So uh, I, I personally use this list and it, uh, it was very useful. Yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you so much for the insights, Tethanya sir, and also creating this presentation. It was very insightful. Uh, now I'd like to open the stage for questions. You can send your questions in the chat box, or if you want, you can also unmute yourself and ask the questions directly. Yeah, it's better. Is it better? Yeah. Uh, I think I should also speak about the work culture and what they look for. So Unilever, all the programs at Unilever are for creating leaders, especially in ITs and IIMs. So it's a uh, again, you it is a ULIP program. So Unilever Leadership Internship Program. Then for placements, it's ULIP Unilever Future Leadership Program. So you know, uh, it means they were. Uh, Many other uh, particular uh, sorry people who were there for the interview and many uh, people uh, who gave the interview and the ones who gave were many many people. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah, sorry. 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 Yeah,
no no it's your mic is working awesome now we'd love to hear what you had to say meanwhile she figures it out let's go ahead with the questions so the first one we have should i be improving my coding skills in python or c for a core intern is that relevant and or useful would uh, any of you take up this question please uh, uh, could you please repeat the second part again uh okay i'll repeat the whole question again should i be improving my coding skills for a core intern is that relevant and or useful yeah again as arun mentioned like coding is not just re, uh, limited to dsa or development in companies so like even my coming to even my internship uh, i personally did python uh, in my second internship and also i'm doing it in my third internship as well because again data analytics is a thing and most companies would want you to do and use uh, such tools right deep machine learning or uh, sorting sorting or filtering some data getting some patterns out of it so anyway i, I think it's useful if, if you want to code to a coding profile then i think c or uh, java would be better if that's for java but for any company i think python is anyway handy Okay. Uh, thanks for answering that. Ayush is asking, what are the OCS points and how do they help? Are you talking about the points you get from volunteering? I'll answer that later for you. Uh, we have another question. Antariksh is asking, what if CGP is below eight, but other sections like internships, projects, ECA are good? Even after, can we short? Can we be shortlisted? Am I audible? Yeah, you are. Yeah. So again, as I said, CGP at the low end is fine. It doesn't matter much. Uh, but uh, of course, the other things like the project uh, and the internship is very good at what you've done and how you've worked upon yourself. So focus on improving yourself. Okay. If CGP, I think you don't have a time to improve your CGP at this point of time. So what's gone is gone. Don't uh, feel underconfident that my CGP is low. My, my, I have not done this. I have not done that. Whatever is there is uh, is there. Be confident and uh, CGP is not matters. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Ashish is asking. Uh, what is the best way? Arth, you are on mute. Okay, I'm very sorry. I'll repeat. Uh, we have another question. Uh, you mentioned not having white space, but also right crisp. How to achieve that balance? Uh, could example they do if possible? Yeah, so that's the challenge while making the CV. OCS may a uh, feature hota hai. Don't remember it right now. Maybe Parth can help with uh, help you later with this. adding to this uh, when the cv making deadline is opened uh, we'll be conducting the ocs will be conducting a workshop on cv making and it will cover all these technical things all the features that you can use to make your cv more beautiful are there any more questions how big of a Okay, we have another question. 
how big of an issue is not having ECF or core companies? Would, uh, Arunal would you like to take this up? Um, I think, yeah, Arunal, go ahead. Yeah, so I did not have a lot of ECF, so it did not matter much. But uh, like in the interviews, it helps if you are a part of at least some club or sport or some cultural activity. So that uh, most of the times the people that are interviewing you are uh, alums from IITD itself. So they're interested to know which, which hostel you're from or which club you are a part of or what activity you do. And for FMCG companies in general, they prefer to have all rounders in their teams because uh, they have this perception that those people would be better at managing their time. So having an ECA, even without that, I know people that did not have an ECA in their CV and they still got shortlisted and selected. So having an ECA helps you get uh, have a better interview, but uh, not having it will not uh, make sure that you are rejected. Just because. Okay, moving on to the next question. Rishi is asking, should one include tech related projects in CV or avoid it? If you have core projects, then include it on top. And if you still have space, then you include other projects because otherwise it is a very core You need core projects uh, section that makes sense uh, antariksh is asking can we expect shortlist in core companies above 7.5 cgpa As Sanskar said, he has 7.5, maybe he was an easy. So Ayush is asking for a fest points. Uh, so Ayush, basically those points help you get extra applications uh, in the placement season. Chaitanya sir has sent an awesome example of white spaces in the chat. Also, I will tell you that I have a lot interview in the interview. But I don't know if you I don't see any more questions. We'll wait for a minute or two and then we'll end the meeting. Antariksh is asking for the contact information of some seniors. You can contact your hostel seniors and if any one of the panelists would like to share their contact information, please do in the chat. Thank you. 
Okay, well, I think it's time to end the meeting. I'd like to again thank all the panelists for taking out the time. Uh, today's session will definitely help us all in our intern process. Thank you again and uh, good night to everyone. Thank you, Parth. Good night. Thank you for having us. Bye. It was a pleasure.